Good afternoon, my name is Bob Gallagher. I'm the mayor of the city of Bettendorf, Iowa. Today is Friday, April 23rd, 2020. Welcome to the Surrey Heights Fire Station in Bettendorf, Iowa. We're here with our fire chief, Knorrick. So thank you very much for joining us today. Sure. Chief Knorrick, uh, welcome to the mayor's message. Well, thank you, mayor. It's uh, nice to have the opportunity to talk to the public and fill them in a little bit about the fire department operations and how things are changing. Well, we've got some great changes on the horizon. In fact, we just hired three new firefighters who've been sworn in, sent off to teach, be taught all the stuff they need to know to come back to be firefighters. And where's the firefighter academy? And when did our folks get back? Uh, we had uh, three personnel finish firefighter academy at the Illinois Fire Service Institute in Champaign, Illinois, and just finished on Friday which enabled us to start uh, staffing of the station on Sunday. And right here at, at Surrey Heights, yes. we're changing the staffing here. So tell the yes. folks about how Surrey Heights will be staffed in the future. Uh, we have two personnel that are assigned to this station every day and uh, we'll be responding out of a rescue unit. Uh, we also still have resident volunteers at this station and they will respond like they have been in the past at night and we'll respond with our personnel on an engine, like this one. And they sleep here yes. in the bunks. And how many yes. uh, folks do we have that are volunteers that spend the night here each and every night? Uh, we currently have two resident volunteers in the station. We actually hired in the last, uh, since July of last year, eight personnel, and two of those were our resident volunteers. Fantastic. So we're down to only two, but we do have the paid career guys on duty 24-7. So those resident volunteers will respond with our career personnel to make up an engine company. So if you're interested in being a volunteer firefighter in the city of Baton Rouge, contact us so we can get you up to speed. And maybe you'd even like to stay here as a resident volunteer and help us in the evenings. In the future, we've got an opportunity to hire some more firefighters and council has given you the opportunity to apply for something called a SAFER grant for six new firefighters. Tell me about the SAFER grant. Uh, yes, we did apply for the SAFER grant earlier this year. Okay. Uh, the notice of funding opportunity from FEMA indicated that uh, information on awards will be starting to come out possibly as early as the end of May. Fantastic. But uh, more likely, and what has occurred over the past several years, it's usually been the end of July into August before they make those notifications okay. public anyway. So that'll give us nine new career firefighters, how does that change your staffing levels here and throughout the city? That would give us a full engine company response out of the Surrey Heights Fire Station. 24-7. We would have three fire trucks, fire engines on uh, duty every day and responding and, and ready to handle emergencies. Uh, one of the things that's really nice, uh, we've looked at our statistics over the last several years and in 2000 we had 9% of our calls out in this Station 4 area. And in uh, 2020, we had nearly 18% of our calls in this area. And as everyone knows, this area, the northeast portion of the city, is growing quite rapidly and the call volume will continue to increase. And having personnel at this station will improve response times not only in this area, but in other areas of the city. Yeah, we continue to grow at about 150 residential homes per year, mostly right here in the Northeast Quadrant. So this is a timely response by a tuned in city council to public safety here in Bettendorf. Chief, thanks a lot for being with us today on the mayor's message. We really appreciate it. Thank you for this opportunity. Until we meet again, stay six feet apart and symptom free.